Right guys, I'm sat in Dan Square uh, and it's a bit... I'm, I can't say it's freezing, it's a bit nippy. I'm alright in my hoodie once I get moving, but I wish I brought my hat out and my gloves. Because there's a bit of a chill in there. I'm going to have to get moving soon because I need a piss, but I've just done Madame Tilt, so there's a lot, lot, lot of pictures on that in a bit. Uh, you probably see this about the same time as I upload that because there's no fucking Wi-Fi. Last two places I've been on had free Wi-Fi, so I'm not messing about paying for loads of stuff to upload. I'm already worried about what kind of bill I'm going to get back to as it is. Uh, spent more money than I thought I had, but less money than I, I was scared that I would, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I've sort of left. I've just been sat in um, Madame Two Swords Bar talking. Ma Madame Two Swords. Madam Two Swords Bar talking to a 25-year-old girl from Aruba whose husband and uh, son have just gone back to Aruba for Christmas to see her parents or his parents wanted to. Uh, we're having a right we're trying we're this other other thing. I've, I've still got gifted, yeah, but it's just all this late like, tools I've got don't work anymore. Uh, what I'm what, what, what I'm to ask, so yeah, you're the same man as my dad. I went, yeah, thanks for that. Yeah, you may feel really creepy now. And she just started laughing. They both got that I was just talking to them. They were no, no implied flirting either way, but it was just like, I mean, I, I was flirting and they were flirting back, but it weren't real flirting, you know what I mean? It was just like, and that when she come out with that, are you the same as my dad? I'm like, yeah, thanks for that. I feel really creepy and old now. So they both started laughing. So I had a good laugh with them. Uh, I've just talked to my mate Sega. He's made me, he's cheered me up. He told me next time I go away, uh, he'll have dog for me. But I ain't going nowhere until I've been done now, guys. Uh, it's, they've let me down severely. They've held me back. And I'd have been a lot more places already today. But when you're walking at like the speed of a slug, what are you supposed to do? And then all of a sudden you're like, you get two pieces of bone gritting on each other. And they shoot, uh, just a, a, a line of searing, lancing pain goes up from your leg. Upwards, you can feel it going up your spine into your brain, and all of a sudden, I start sweating. I feel sick. I suddenly like loud scream like almost loud screams. Like, Aah! people look around at me, so I feel like, like a right weirdo. I can't do this, it's bad enough for I'm trying to walk dog, but walking around Amsterdam like this on a walking stick, I feel like a proper cripple. I really do feel like a really old crippled bloke, and I'm not a really old crippled bloke, so keen. Oyster gear with that, and that was fun. Just watching one of uh, mounted police officers being handed a four foot long metal cosh that she put in a holster outside her, her leg on the horse. That made me think, I really want to be sat in this town to get this time like the football fans chanting down there, surrounded by coppers. Fucking hell. Great.